Hey, how's it going, everybody? So a quick run through with Evolution X 11, which is an Android 16 base custom ROM from Evolution X on the Google Pixel 8a. And just kind of giving you guys a quick tour through it after I flashed it yesterday. If you guys want to see how to install this on your Pixel 8a, um, I'll, you know, I'll link the, the video in the description for you guys. But, you know, um, so, you know, just a couple things that, you know, we can notice here right off the bat first is is that it does not have material three expressive so like on my um on my pixel 9a um you definitely can see you know material three expressive um and the way the user interface looks now this is not to say that you know the developers at evolution x aren't going to implement this in i believe they will once it's fully rolled out as even right now material three expressive is not fully rolled out to uh, other Google Pixel devices just yet. So if you're not on uh, QPR 1 beta 3 um, and you're just basically on the stock Android 16, then you'll notice that you don't have uh, the Material 3 Expressive that, you know, in the form of like the lock screen. So you'll notice like how you have this uh, lock screen animation, things like that. It's not available on uh, the Pixel 8a with Evolution X 11, but it is Android 16. Um, so, you know, you'll be on the latest version of Android. And for the most part, it is pretty smooth. Like you do have the ability to, uh, you know, customize the uh, quick settings, either making uh, the toggles pill shaped or just, you know, in a circular button shape. Um, so you do have that ability to do that. You also have the ability to basically, you know, do some theming here, like I have like a cyberpunk theme going on. So you kind of see that the notifications are surrounded that way. A lot of the customizations that we're used to with Evolution X, like the ability to, you know, like add like some sort of a image on the very top right here is not available just yet. And I'm thinking that, you know, because this is the first iteration of Evolution X 11, um, they haven't implemented those customizations just yet because this is just basically testing out to make sure if things are working properly and there's no bugs um, before they start investing in uh, putting the uh, customizations that people who use Evolution X come to love. So, you know, that's not there right now, but it's not to say it won't come in the future. But, um, you know, for the most part, everything is pretty much working. So audios is working just fine. I'm not having any issues at all with the audios. Uh, playing any video or things like that and listening to music from the speakers, they're just fine. I don't see any real big issues between the stock ROM and how loud the audio levels were on that and then this ROM and the audio levels. They're pretty much the same. So uh, it's good on that. And when it comes to the battery life, the battery life has been pretty decent. Like I've been watching, you know, a couple of videos and stuff like that. It's currently sitting at 86%. The only bug that I found with that is the widget. The widget stays locked for some reason at, at 73%. That's uh, the percentage it was last night when I uh, dropped it on the wireless charger, which wireless charging does work, so you don't sacrifice that with this ROM. Uh, cameras work too as well, so you don't sacrifice that at all whatsoever. So you do have all your different modes and, uh, you know, you can record in uh, full HD and in 4K. So you do have those options there to change up the resolution um, as well as speech enhancement and all those things are still present. Not a problem there. Uh, like I said, camera works pretty good. Good morning, bed hair. Anyways, uh, so the cameras are just fine. Display is fine. Battery's been decent. No problems there at all whatsoever. And just about every app that I use is working just fine. I haven't found an app that's been having any issues at all whatsoever. If I find something in the future, I will let you guys know. But yeah, you do have, you know, some of the slight customizations, though, for those who do want to know, right? Like you can put like the Android logo up there in the top left next to the clock. There's no reason to put the clock in the center because you have the um, selfie cam in the center right there. But uh, yeah, you know, you can change up, you know, the Wi-Fi and the, uh, the data icon so there is some slight customizations available just not some heavy ones just yet those will probably come in the future but yeah if you guys have any other questions comments concerns about evolution x 11 which is android 16 based drop them in the comments i will make an update video a week later from now and let you guys know the full extent of how this rom is performing